hey guys welcome back to the channel and this is stellar converter for ost detailed review so guys first thing that you will do is simply go to stellarinfo.com slash convert ost to pst.php and now this will be the home page and right away guys you should be able to see here the free download which is the green icon so just simply click on over here and now after that as you can see just simply select a location where you are going to download it so in my case i will download it on my desktop and click on save and now from here just go to the top right and just simply go to this folder icon to open up the location and now from here guys as you can see this will be the file so just simply go ahead and open it up and once you have opened it up as you can see the first thing that you would set up is the language so click on this and you will have here multiple options based on your language that you prefer so i'll go with english and click on ok and now from here guys this will be the setup so just simply click on next over here and after that just simply read the license agreement so just simply make sure to click on i accept the agreement and click on next over here on the bottom right and now guys from here just simply select a file location so from here if you want to change the file location you can just simply click on browse over here and you can simply customize where you are going to put the program file now i'm not gonna make any changes so i'm just gonna simply click on next and after that you will have a stellar converter into your start menu so i will do that and click on next and after that as you can see we will have an option to create a desktop shortcut so yeah i'm gonna go for this one so make sure this is on check and click on next and after that just simply click on install over here and just simply wait for it to install and as you can see we will have the stellar converter into our desktop and we can just simply launch it right away so click on this box over here and click on finish and after that just simply wait for it to load up guys and as you can see you will have two options when you open up this application so you can go for list profiles so you will have here your profile list and you can just simply directly select it or you can just simply go for choose mailbox manually over here which you can simply manually browse from your computer and you will have the freedom to select an ost file or you can just simply click on find over here guys where the application will automatically find it so as you can see you will have this another window and you can just simply click on find and it will automatically find the ost file for you if in case that you have missed it and you should be able to select it so guys in our case I will go for the browse over here and now i'm just gonna select an ost file from my computer so this is my ost file i'm gonna click on it and click on open and after that you can just simply go ahead and click on convert over here and it will automatically convert just simply wait for it to load up as the application convert it for you now guys from here on the left side of the screen you should be able to see all of your folders and as you can see when you select one of the folders and you should be able to see here your content of the folder and when you don't want to include a, a specific folder you can just simply go ahead and check these boxes over here to not include it so pretty much it will be depending on you on which one you want to include and which one that you want to disregard so now once you have customized on it 
you can just simply go ahead and click on over here save converted file at the top left corner of the screen so go ahead and click on it and from here just simply provide your activation key to activate the product and in my case this is my activation key and as you can see the activation key will be in your email as well so now just simply click on activate over here and now once the activation is complete you can just simply click on ok and as you can see from here guys you will have multiple options to choose from you can go for pdf html rtf eml or msg so guys for this specific video we are going to select pst over here and now just simply click on next and after that just simply of course select a destination file so in my case i'm gonna go for the browse and now i'm gonna select desktop but i'm gonna create a new folder and I'm going to go for output PST. And after that, I'm just going to click on OK. And this will be my destination file. And now from here, guys, you will have two options. You can recover deleted items. So guys, the checkbox is selected by default. So guys, uncheck it if recover deleted items are not required. And another option that you have is the auto split PST file. So guys check box is selected by default as well and you can uncheck it if you do not want to split converted ost file so guys this option helps to auto split new pst file at approximately 45 gigabyte in size so guys you can also apply a filter over here by just simply clicking on here and after that you can apply filter on the converted files and you will have multiple options over here so this will be based on your preferences and now in order for you to apply click on this and now after all of that you can just simply click on ok from there it will convert your ost file to pst and just simply wait for it to load up guys you can just simply click on ok so guys once you have done that just simply close the converter and after that just simply go to the file location that you have and now just simply make sure it is on a pst right now i'm just gonna simply right click the file and after that go to properties and as you can see it is currently pst so the conversion was successfully made so now let's go ahead and open up the outlook on the start menu over here now once you are on outlook you can just simply go ahead and click on a file over here on the left side and go to open and export and after that you can just simply click on over here this open outlook data file which is pst as you can see over here so just simply click on it and now from here of course just simply go ahead and select your pst file that we just converted so just simply go to the file location and after that just simply select it and click on ok and as you can see just simply wait for it to load up so guys once you are done you can just simply click on this icon over here expand folder pane and after that just simply scroll down and you should be able to see here the file that we just converted and as you can see you should be able to just simply click on it to check the emails inside the folder and that's simply about it if this video was helpful guys please like and subscribe and if you have any question just simply comment down below and thanks for watching see ya